Romeo and Juliet didn't connect on Facebook dating. Jack and Rose didn't get their start by swiping right on Tinder. How did people meet in the past? And how are they meeting now? In the old days, school or work used to bring people together. They still do, but things are a little different now. And it's not just because of social distancing. Dating has moved online incredibly quickly. This graph is from 2017, and the numbers have surely gone up since then. In fact, if we zoom out a little, we can see just how quickly online connections have come to dominate the social scene. But how does this really work? And does it change the way people think about romance? Nowadays, romantic encounters are powered by software that uses data for matchmaking purposes. Dating apps gather data on users and how they interact. This lets their algorithms use their individual preferences to recommend compatible partners. Users can also research their connections online. Sometimes, this takes away the kind of natural conversation and discovery that makes dating so interesting. Apps have a role to play in bringing people together, especially during a pandemic, but it's important to remember that data isn't everything. Romeo and Juliet would have rejected each other online because their families were fighting. They connected because they found each other's humanity. Jack and Rose certainly wouldn't have texted. They came from different social worlds and economic classes. The greatest love stories don't always fit in a computer. Apps can be wonderful when they bring out the best of who we really are. It's great to connect with people, but in the meantime, don't forget to be yourself, ready to share happiness with others. There's a world full of people out there. If you stay positive and interesting, then others will want to connect with you too.